I'm Pete Zielinski with Additive Manufacturing Magazine, and I'm here with Roger Hart, R&D Engineering Manager with Siemens. So Roger, basic question first. In manufacturing, Siemens is associated with hardware and software related to control and automation. So what does Siemens bring to additive manufacturing? Sure, Siemens brings factory automation equipment, as you mentioned, uh, motion controllers, and our PLM software suite. On the, on the motion controller side, our Cinemaric CNC is being applied to a lot of the additive machines you see, and also uh, our PLM software, CAD CAM, is in X, and we also offer NASTRAN for a CAA software suite. So the combination of those is somewhat unique in the industry and in that we can do everything from part design to process sequencing uh, to the actual execution of the additive part on the machine. You know, one of the promises of additive is growing precise metal production parts. What do you see as some of the challenges that are holding that back a little bit? From the start, additive processes have been gradually moving into manufacturing, but the, the problem has always been sort of the surface finish issue. With additive process, when you're building up metals, you just don't have the same surface finish qualities that you do with the subtractive processes. So it's almost always the case that parts built with additive also require a secondary operation to create those surfaces that are the mating surfaces, et cetera. So that adds a certain additional step in the manufacturing process and cost. So you have to overcome that in other ways. I think a, another area is the, the quality issue. Uh, the processes are just still trying to become repetitive and reproducible and to make quality parts in a manufacturing environment, you can't have that variability. And probably from my personal experiences, some of the more difficult problems are with the laser processes where you have high temperatures that are dynamic and moving and you end up with metal deformation that's very hard to model in the CAE tools. So those are some of the challenges that, that we're facing today. Yeah, so that, that's a lot. There are significant challenges and yet there are a, a lot of early adopters making significant investments in additive. Why do you think they're doing that in spite of the hurdles, in spite of the challenges today? What promise are manufacturers pursuing in additive manufacturing? Sure, I think without a doubt, the, the number one driver right now is the design freedom you get with additive. You can build parts that couldn't be built before, so now you can take advantage of that in your designs. Lighter parts are particularly important in aerospace and automotive. Um, design freedoms like lattice structures to make parts lighter, cooling channels to allow you to make molds that have better, better thermal characteristics. So there's design freedoms that are brought to the table with additive that have never been there before. And that's probably the number one um, enabler in my mind. What are some technology enablers that will allow for the advance of additive to achieve more of that promise that you described? Well, from Siemens' perspective, I think a big step has to be addressing the quality and the repeatability of the process. So we need to bring the right sensors in to the controllers. We have to produce control algorithms that can close loops around process characteristics that they're not aware of today so that we can go from design to process steps to manufacturing and close that whole loop and make sure that what was designed is really what was built. And I think that's the number one thing right now, that if we're going to make parts with additive, they have to have that same quality and we have to build that whole infrastructure in order to achieve that. Closing the loop in additive manufacturing, that's what has to come. Thank you, Roger. Thank you.